Here is the back panel of our Eclipse. So, first of all, Eclipse is a stereo device. Uh, even though you see a lot of connections, I don't want you to think it's a multi-channel. So it's a stereo device. And uh, here you're watching the back panel. So beginning from the left, we're gonna see the analog connections. We have three sets of stereo analog inputs. Here we have the digital inputs where we have seven different digital sources. Three AES, two SPDIF, and two toss links. Here you're seeing word clock and 10M capability. Uh, as most of our devices, you can use it with our atomic clock. So now an atomic clock is connected. So an atomic clock is actually clocking Eclipse in the setup. This is the USB connection. On the output side, we have three different monitors. Monitor one out, monitor two, monitor three and you have the LFE for the base management. Here you can see the word clocks. And here you can see the outputs of the dedicated D to A converter and the dedicated A to T converter. So of course you can see that the whole thing is connected to the USB. Now it's through the USB that we can stream audio and we can actually control the device. This is the USB that's coming into the uh, Mac laptop so that uh, the control panel that's actually on the computer is able to control the device remote. Here is the control panel where you can see different aspects of the device being controlled. Here is the I.O. tab where you configure the levels. Here is the stuff where you configure your A to D and D to A converter inputs and outputs. Here is the clocking section where you can see it's locked to 10M atomic clock. And here is the familiar monitor mixer interface. So what you're seeing in the monitor is the familiar volume control. You're seeing the mute, the dim, the mono, the oscillator. And that's something, all of that can be controlled easily with your mouse. And the presets that you're seeing here is where you could store all these configurations and you're able to instantly recall them. Now, not everybody is excited about using their mouse or their touchpad to control their device. A lot of people like to be able to do so physically with the real knob, with the real button. That's why we have built a remote controller. This device, Luna, is uh, the remote controller, uh, which uh, is able to do the same thing pretty much you can do on the monitoring section of the control panel. You can adjust the volumes. You can recall the presets, you can mute, you can dim, you can mono. Uh, the interesting thing is it also has a microphone built into it so that you can uh, talk uh, with the performer through the remote control without needing yet an extra microphone. So that's kind of a cool little thing. So what we're covering here is the whole concept because essentially you realize, now imagine you had all the six things separately. You had your ADT, your D2A, your clocking, your special power supply, you had your monitor. Um, you know, what would it be? How many cables would this thing be? How many cables would you have to connect? What would the noise be like? Would there be jitter issues? Would it get complicated setting up the clocking? Now that's something that completely falls away when you integrate these things in a sensible way you get the level of simplicity that covers the gigantic complexity that stands behind it. So we're back to Aristotle and what did Aristotle said? The Aristotle said is the whole is more than the sum of its parts. And just for Frankfurt, I'm gonna do it in German, das Ganze ist mehr als die Summe seiner Teile.